is that you click it in like that and click it into your PC. Once you've um, plugged in your manual uh, assembly USB, you can double click into launch quick installer. Click yes. Okay, so this will take a couple of seconds. Okay, so just make sure that you've uninstalled um, all previous um, XPS printers. And this is important so that you can continue to install um, your new Sigma onto your desktop. And what you'll do is that you'll go into your um, control panel, okay? And you will then click left on it and remove the device, okay? So obviously, as you can see, I've installed it quite a few times, so I can uninstall it over here and I'll just say remove device, okay? So I don't need a copy of this device. Um, so I'll just remove the device. Great. So I've already installed the Sigma, so I don't need copies of it. Um, so I'll click next. Um, yes, so you obviously want this uh, software, so click install. Okay, accept the terms and conditions, say next. Okay, so for today, we're gonna um, connect with the USB. Make sure your printer is powered on and do not plug the USB cable into the computer until you are directed. Okay, so say install. Allow access. So click done. Okay, so it is already installed, which is great. Okay, great. So now, um, thanks for installing the driver. You will now be directed to the printer dashboard. Um, use the shortcut to launch the printer dashboard. Press done to close the installer. Okay, so I'll click done. Great, and immediately it takes me to the printer dashboard. Okay, um, so I've already created a username and ID and password. Password, sorry. Um, so it'll take you to a dashboard where you can fill in all those details. Um, yeah, and it's taking taking me to the printer dashboard where I can basically print from my laptop over here. Um, and you can also get your IP address, sorry, by going into your devices, um, clicking left on it, and going into printer properties, go into ports. Okay, great. So copy three. Um, so I'm gonna say configure port, and here's your IP address as well, okay. So um, if you want to go back into Printer Manager, you'll just type in this IP address and it will automatically take you to, um, so I'm just saying Control C, go back into my Google Chrome, Control V. Uh, it does say not secure, but don't worry about it. And it's taking me straight back into my printer dashboard. And as you can see, it's connected. You can also put it on quiet mode if you'd like so that doesn't make so much noise in the office um, and you can change your color, your device details, order supplies, supply details and um, you can tell the printer when to initiate a cleaning card. Um, so here it says, let's just check. So it all, um, cards will print, okay, so it will initiate a cleaning card after 496 um, cards have been Printed. Okay, so you can change this and I'll show you this in the next video, but yeah, I hope this helps and I'm, 
I'm happy that it all worked and yeah, so you're now back, back onto your printer dashboard.